we got the special kebab with the marrow in it again. That's an eye opener. If I think back throughout the entire year, that was the single bite that just shocked my taste buds into new peak levels of deliciousness that I've ever had in my entire life. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10, the 10 best meals I ate in 2018. One thing to note is that this list is not in order of delicious, but it's just in order of time from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And this happened to be like an, I, I didn't plan for this. I love to eat vegetables, but it happened to be quite a, quite a meaty year as you will see. How long do they smoke for? Oh, uh, they're anywhere between, like small ones like this guy will take about eight hours. Okay. A bigger, bigger one like that will take 10 to 14. So they can find out in a second. No, they pay for it. Wow. There you go, you didn't get one, did you? There you go, dude. That's a lot of meat. Okay, this platter of meat is gigantic and absolutely <laughs> insane. I think we have to start with the centerpiece, which is the beef short ribs. And they only make it Friday and Saturday, so we came on the right day. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> we can just press down. Can't wait to taste. is almost impossible how tender and juicy and fatty that is. Number two, we are off to Mexico. We're just in time as they're opening a fresh oven. Oh, that is unbelievable. He took off the lid of the clay oven and just a poof of smoke came out so that the smoke is just, it's just uh, locked up inside that clay oven and you could immediately smell. Uh, the owner just told me it's lamb. In order to take the meat out of the oven because it's so ridiculously ultra tender, they just scoop it out by the playful. They don't need knives here. All they do is take a plate and literally like scoop it in or grab it and they just take plate after plate of the most tender meat you've ever tasted in your life out of that oven. It's just oozy and dripping with juices. Wow, that's all meat, man. <laughs> Number three was so cool because we, we really did not have any plan when we set off on the day and it just unfolded. Grateful for all the people that helped us. Number three. <laughs> It took like five hours to make this mole. They made everything from scratch, starting with the chilies. There must be 30 different ingredients in this mole recipe. A mucha insistencia, poca la resistencia. Muy, muy bueno. I can tell you certainly, there's nothing like this in the world. Number four is so cool because you go out onto a little boat, you're on a little floating platform, and then you're presented with these, uh, like a platter of giant blooming oysters. Oh, he just freshly opened these. I gotta try one as is immediately. I'm going for that center guy. Yeah, look at the size of that. Oh, that's just as unbelievably fresh as it can get. For number five, let's go to Accra, Ghana in West Africa. All sorts of things, probably the palm nut oil, you can smell the fish, you can smell the chilies. Oh, she's, oh, wow, wow. Oh. Wow. Let me tell you, making banku, stirring it like that, that's rowing on the next level. It's a chop bar, it's a local restaurant with all those dishes. You choose your starch and you choose your soup and then they dish it out. I go for food and goats, goat meat, and light soup. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so good? It's so good. <laughs> oh wow, that's really smooth in texture and really kind of sticky. Kind of mm. almost like dip it. Oh, oh I'm, gonna, dip it. I'm gonna go for one of those chilies on my first yeah. bite. No. 
か。I'm just gonna pick this up like a like a drumstick. And by the way, I'm gonna have all of this information, all of these meals, uh, plus the top destinations that I visited, plus I'm gonna share with you the camera gear that I use in a blog post, which will be linked in the description box. Number six to the east coast of Africa. Today we are in Shela Village, uh, which is on Lamu Island. Garlic, turmeric. turmeric. Curry powder. For the prawns curry, she first stir fried some onions and carrots and caramelized them in some oil. Uh, then she added in that pounded mixture of the garlic and the spices, the turmeric, the black pepper. Immediately as that hit the, the oil, you could, that aroma just overwhelmed my nose. Oh man, that just smells insanely good. Uh, but she added in the prawns, she added in the coconut milk. She, final step was that she added in the, the oh, wait, the, no. Okay, finally, this is the bite that I have been waiting for. Some of the, the prawns, I'll take a prawn, I'll mix it with the, the rice. That is ultimate. That's a ridiculously delicious combination. From the first time I tasted this dish, I think I was back in like sixth or seventh grade when I was like 11 years old. This has been one of my favorite dishes and to have it at the source, it was special. Oh, she's adding some water, but that aroma. Nice. <laughs> This is what I told you. You can just see just the onions which have simmered down into that sauce. Uh, it's not thickened by anything except for the onions and some oil and the spices in there. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. It's so good. <laughs> oh man, I mean it's so good. The chicken, the chicken is amazing, but it's so good. The sauce is so incredibly good. You barely even, I mean, it's good with just sauce. Moving on to number eight, and this was just one of the ultimate platters. This is the signature Samarkand plov. It's different from the other version we've had in Tashkent, and it looks like dark used motor oil, but that's flaxseed, black flaxseed oil. And he pulled out a chunk of the meat is that lamb or beef? It's a beef, bro. It's, it's a beef, a okay. Beef. Yeah, it's giant beef. chunks of it's beef giant. just yeah. simmered. You can also see there's raisins in there as yeah, well yeah. as uh, chickpeas. chickpeas. It's majestic as the sights are in Samarkand is that plate of plow. And they got a giant platter plate with the, the geometric designs on it. First bite reaching in mostly for rice and carrots. Yeah. Those carrots. Mm. Mm. And that beef is just fall apart tender. Number nine, and again, this list is not in order of delicious, but this next dish, it when I think about it, I, I, I feel like tears starting to form in my eyes. It's that good. <laughs> this might be the coolest restaurant like cooking station I have ever seen in my life. That is an entire bonfire. It's just, it's just radiating. Oh, he's mixing the baked meat right now. Tomatoes going, oh, nice. Mm. Without a doubt, this is one of the coolest restaurants of my life. So he makes the meat. Um, and he, I love that, I love that, that shove move. He just slides it into the fat. We got the special kebab with the marrow in it again. We gotta get that, oh, it just juices. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> just gonna sprinkle on some of that citrus, some of that memang, that um... And finally, number 10, but keep on watching this video because I have more to share with you, uh, the top destinations, uh, is the biryani game changer. They're serving our plate. It's not even a plate, but this is an entire metal like saucer wall. The heaviness of it. <laughs> awesome is gonna help us with the bones. 
Oh, there it comes. He's like... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that actually works. <laughs> you gotta hit it hard, Mark. I can hear like juices rattling in there. Yeah. Oh, there <laughs> it comes. <laughs> oh, it's still so hot. Oh it's so God. delicate. Marrow bite. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, no way. <laughs> the marrow makes butter feel tough. And that wraps up the top, the best meals of 2018. And you know, it's so hard for me to choose, but the reason that I enjoy, I don't really like making lists of top 10 because there's so many variables of what makes a good meal from the people to the location, to the, the visual aspect of it, to the delicious taste. Uh, but one of the reasons I enjoy doing this every year is because it allows me to really think back, to really uh, reflect on the things and the, the people I met, the foods I ate, um, and just reflect on the year. And so that's partly the reason I, I love doing this. All right, and next, I just wanna share the top 10 destinations. Number one, I really loved Merida in Yucatan, Mexico. Number two, Luang Prabang, Lao. What an ultimate relaxation place. Number three is Trat in Thailand, which is a beautiful eastern coastal province in Thailand. Wow. Number four, Cape Coast, Ghana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number five is the beautiful Swahili culture, Lamu Island, Kenya. Number six on the shores of Lake Kivu, Gisenyi, Rwanda. Number, oh, oh, number seven, which was also the scariest moment of the year, Harar, Ethiopia. Sit, get the stick and try to face me. Yes. There you go. Oh, hey. Get a stick. Yes. Diana will be in your okay. back, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Number eight is Samarkand, Uzbekistan, which the architecture just blew me away. Number nine, Peshawar, Pakistan. I loved the culture, the people, the food, the meat. And then finally, number 10, Hunza Valley, Pakistan, which is easily one of the most spectacular naturally spectacular, beautiful, unbelievable places that I've ever been in my entire life. And the mountains, the people, the culture, it was, ah, it was breathtaking. So again, the link will be in the description box. Go check that out. Go check out the full blog post. It will include all this information plus more details. Again, I'm extremely grateful for your incredible support. And without you, this entire channel, the videos, the travel, the... I, it wouldn't be possible without your support and your sharing and your continuing to watch. And so I'm grateful to have your support and I'm very thankful for, for you. And I hope you have an incredible new year and pushing forward into 2019. I'm very excited uh, and I hope all the best for you and your family and to have a prosperous 2019. Thank you again. Goodbye from Bangkok and I will see you in 2019 for lots more food and travel videos.